How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here, and you're watching this because you probably have RGB software in your PC. Maybe you built a PC with RGBs, or maybe you mix and match RGBs, or you have a pre-built PC where you have RGBs, or maybe you added some RGBs to your PC. That's a lot of RGBs I just mentioned. But anyway, to get to the point, if you have mix and match your RGBs, you probably download it two or three different softwares in order for your RGBs to work correctly, or maybe it doesn't work as intended. So instead, you look for all in one RGB software and maybe it works well for you, but maybe you feel like it's quite taxing to your PC and it, it affects your performance and you don't like any bit of that, which I don't blame you. In fact, there's a lot of software out there, just like Asus Armory Crate, Gigabyte Aorus, IQ, and you just don't like the extra bloat to your PC because you feel like it's just quite taxing to your PC. And instead, you prefer to just not even have the programs, but instead you get that rainbow Q color that nobody likes for the PC. Or maybe you just have some RGBs that nobody's ever heard of and your motherboard doesn't want to pick up on those RGBs which can also happen and that be can also quite be a pain where it nothing works in harmony or it doesn't work as easy and you're and here you are thinking that rgbs are going to be the easiest thing to control for some reason pcs refuse to recognize it instead there could be a solution coming out really soon that microsoft is actually working on a very very possible solution that will be released It's no secret that Microsoft has been working on RGBs for a while, since 2018, since they introduced personalization. And then when it came to accent colors, it kind of hinted on RGB lighting then. But then we all thought the project was scrapped and that Microsoft was never gonna bring it back and they just buried it into the grave and everybody's forced to install RGB software that they probably don't like. I do have some great news and all you need is to have Microsoft Windows 11. It's a little bit deeper than just having Microsoft Windows 11. If you are a developer, then you can have Microsoft Developer Build 25295, which you can test out this new feature on Microsoft Windows 11. There's quite a few steps in order for it to get to work, or maybe you just want to try it out to see if it works well for your PC, which is all good. But just remember, if you have a developer build, it's not gonna work as well as a regular build will that Microsoft, that you probably have installed into your PC. Now I can show you all the steps in order to get this installed on your PC. I can tell you right now, it doesn't work as well or as intended on my PC because it doesn't recognize it quite yet, but I can show you the steps and it may work for you. And if it does, that's great. Let me know how you like it. Without further ado, if you're interested, I'll show you exactly how to install it into your PC. All right, let's do this, fam bam. In order to get this ready, we're going to go over to the Windows button down here, and you're going to enter Settings. Make sure you enter Windows Update as you see the mouse circling around the Windows Update. You're going to go under Windows Insider Program. Once you go into Windows Insider Program, choose your Insider Settings. You're going to pick Development Channel. Now, at first, when you enter the Windows Update or Windows Insider Settings or Windows Insider Program, I should say, you're gonna be asked to enter the email which you want to join Microsoft's program. Make sure you enter the email that is related to your Windows build. Once you enter it, you're gonna apply to Settings and you're gonna enter Windows Updates. Once you enter Windows Updates, it will have the pre-released versions of Windows 11, which is Build 25 to 95, which is exactly what you want in order to get the Microsoft RGBs to work. So next, you're gonna go over to GitHub, and I'm gonna have the link down in the description box down below. Make sure you download the Vive Tool version 0.3.2. You're gonna click the zip file right here, and once you click the zip file, it's gonna pop up and make sure you extract it somewhere where you can remember it. You can put it into the C drive for simplicity's sake. And then once you do, you're gonna want to open up a command. But first, make sure you navigate over to that folder just to make sure it is in that correct location. 
and here it is. Now you know exactly where it is located. And the reason why is because you're not gonna open up Vive Tools via application. You're gonna go to the search bar, type command prompt, and now you're gonna right click it and run as administrator. Once you do, click yes. And then from here, you're gonna enter CD for directory, put in the location of where you have the RGB folder located and make sure you hit enter afterwards because what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Vive Tools via command prompt. Now we have the location set to our directory or our correct directory for where our RGB folder is located. In order to enable it, just follow these command codes. As you see here, you can pause the video in order to set them. It's only two command lines you have to put in. And then after you, you successfully set the configuration, it is now officially activated. Now, since it is activated, you wanna make sure that it is working properly. So what we're gonna do is go down to the Windows button down here, make sure you hit the power button and we're gonna restart the PC. Once you restart the PC, go into settings and go under personalization. Once you go under there, go under lighting and enable ambient lighting. Now you see where it says lighting devices, as you can see, my PC does not have any located, but if you're in luck, your PC might actually have the lighting devices available. So I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else out there who has RGBs or ARGBs that is struggling and want to share this video with them so that way they can learn how to control RGBs without the extra software, please share this video with them. And also, if not part of the big one, the fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you're not following my Twitter handle right here, it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well as I will post those updates as soon as I can. And fan band, guys, I personally want to thank you and all of you for who followed me since the beginning of this journey that we finally hit 5,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And I couldn't do it without all of you. I do want to announce a giveaway once I figure out all the details. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.